engaging in dialogue with your higher self is a deeply enriching process. Bridging the gap between your conscious mind and the profound wisdom that resides within. This concept, while seemingly esoteric, is grounded in various psychological and spiritual practices that have been explored and validated over centuries. The aim is to access an inner wellspring of guidance and enlightenment, fostering a connection that can lead to remarkable personal growth and understanding. To begin this dialogue, one must first cultivate a practice of mindful awareness. This involves creating moments of stillness and silence to become fully present. Such practices are not new. Mindfulness has its roots in ancient Buddhist meditation practices, but has been widely recognized in modern psychology for its benefits in reducing stress and improving cognitive function and emotional well-being. Meditation is another cornerstone in establishing a connection with your higher self. By quieting the mind, you allow for a clearer channel of communication with the deeper aspects of your being. This concept has been explored in various spiritual traditions, including Hinduism's practice of dhyana, meditation, for self-realization and in the contemplative practices of Christian mysticism. Trusting your intuition is a critical aspect of this dialogue. Intuition or the inner knowing that goes beyond logical reasoning has been a subject of interest in both psychology and spiritual practices. Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded Analytical Psychology, emphasized the importance of intuition in understanding the unconscious mind and its influence on our conscious lives. Journaling as a form of divine dialogue offers a tangible way to communicate with your higher self. This practice can be traced back to the spiritual exercises of Ignatius of Loyola in the 16th century, which involve reflective writing as a means to discern the inner movements of the spirit. Creative expression serves as a nonverbal language through which your higher self can communicate. This idea is supported by the use of art therapy in psychology where creating art is a way to explore feelings and thoughts that might be difficult to express in words, that might be difficult to express in words. Ancient civilizations, including the Egyptians and Greeks, also recognized the power of art as a form of spiritual and psychological expression, creating a personal system of symbolism to decipher messages from one's higher self-draws parallels with the practice of dream analysis, a concept significantly developed by Carl Jung. Jung posited that dreams serve as a bridge between the unconscious and conscious realms, conveying messages through a language rich in symbols and metaphors. This perspective underscores the belief that our deeper self communicates with us through Images and symbols that, while seemingly cryptic, are imbued with personal meaning and significance. Just as dream symbols can vary widely in their appearance and significance from one individual to another, so too can the symbols that resonate with our higher self in our waking life. Developing a personal symbolism system involves tuning into one's own unique set of symbols, images, signs, or patterns that repeatedly emerge in our thoughts, dreams, or daily experiences, and interpreting them in a way that speaks to our innermost selves. This process is akin to learning a new language, one that is deeply personal and rooted in the individual's psyche and life experiences. This endeavor requires a level of introspection and mindfulness, inviting individuals to pay close attention to the recurring themes, symbols and motifs that arise in their dreams and waking life. 
By reflecting on these symbols and seeking to understand their meanings, one can gain insights into their subconscious mind, inner desires, fears, and aspects of their personality that may not be fully conscious. Over time, this practice can lead to a profound understanding of oneself and one's path in life, offering guidance, clarity, and a deeper connection to the higher self. Jung's approach to dream analysis emphasized the importance of viewing dream symbols not as fixed or universal in their meanings, but as deeply personal and subjective. Similarly, when developing a personal symbolism system, the meanings assigned to specific symbols are not derived from a universal dictionary, but are instead informed by one's own experiences, emotions, and inner wisdom. This makes the practice highly individualized, as the same symbol can hold vastly different meanings for different people. Engaging with one's personal symbolism system can also be a powerful tool for personal growth and self-discovery. It encourages an ongoing dialogue with the higher self, fostering a sense of alignment and purpose. By becoming fluent in the language of one's own symbols, individuals can navigate life's challenges and opportunities with greater insight and intuition. Moreover, this practice aligns with Jung's broader theories on individuation, the process of becoming aware of oneself, integrating the unconscious with the conscious, and achieving a unified self. By actively engaging with and interpreting the symbols that emerge from the unconscious, individuals can facilitate their own process of individuation, leading to greater wholeness and self-realization. Developing a personal symbolism system is a journey into the depths of the self, offering a means of self-expression and understanding that transcends words. It is a practice that not only illuminates the messages from the higher self, but also enriches the individual's life with a sense of meaning, purpose, and connection to the broader tapestry of their existence. Setting clear intentions is a practice that aligns with the psychological concept of goal setting, which has been shown to improve focus, motivation, and outcomes. In a spiritual context, setting intentions is akin to prayer or meditation with a purpose, practices that are central to many world religions and spiritual traditions. Creating a, a sacred space for this connection. Whether it's a physical place or a mental sanctuary is important for fostering a conducive environment for communication. This concept mirrors the religious practice of creating altars or sanctuaries, places that are set apart for divine encounters and reflection. Delving into communication with one's higher self transcends a mere spiritual quest. It represents a meeting point of psychology, philosophy, and the profound insights of ancient traditions. This endeavor encourages an introspective gaze, urging us to tap into the rich reservoir of wisdom that lies within, a source acknowledged and revered by diverse cultures and throughout history. Engaging in such practices opens us to a dynamic process of self-exploration and enlightenment guiding us down a path that fosters a profound connection with our core being. This journey is not isolated to any single discipline or belief system. Instead, it weaves together the threads of psychological theory, philosophical inquiry, and the timeless teachings of sages, offering a holistic framework for understanding ourselves and our place in the universe. Psychology with its focus on the workings of the mind and behaviors, provides tools for introspection and self-analysis, enabling us to uncover the layers of our consciousness and the unconscious drivers of our actions. Philosophy, on the other hand, offers a space for existential exploration, 
posing questions about the nature of being, purpose, and the good life. It prompts us to reflect on our values, beliefs, and the principles that guide our lives, encouraging a critical examination of our assumptions and the possibility of leading a more authentic existence. Ancient wisdom, whether derived from Eastern philosophies, indigenous traditions, or the mystical branches of world religions, brings a sense of connectedness with the past and a recognition of the universal quest for understanding and transcendence. These traditions offer insights into the nature of the self and the universe, teaching us about the interdependence of all life and the importance of harmony within ourselves and with the world around us. By integrating these diverse perspectives, the exploration into communicating with our higher self becomes a rich and multifaceted journey. It challenges us to go beyond the superficial layers of our identity, to question our patterns and beliefs, and to cultivate a deeper awareness of our inner world. This process is transformative, leading to greater self, awareness, personal growth, and an enhanced sense of peace and fulfillment. Moreover, this path of self-discovery and enlightenment is not a solitary endeavor. It connects us with a broader community of seekers and practitioners across time and space who have also embarked on this quest to understand themselves and their place in the cosmos and their place in the cosmos. It reminds us that the journey inward is a universal human experience, one that can lead to a deeper empathy for others and a more compassionate engagement with the world. Ultimately, the exploration of communication with our higher self invites us to forge a deeper connection with the essence of who we are. It is a process of shedding illusions, embracing authenticity, and aligning with our true nature. As we navigate this path, we not only discover the depths of our own being, but also our capacity for wisdom, love, and a profound connection to the universal web of life. This journey, rich in its diversity of insights and practices, holds the promise of leading us to a fuller, more enlightened existence, marked by an unshakable peace and a luminous sense of purpose.